from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Unfortunately, we do have a chance of rain for your Halloween forecast, and we'll look, at, look a little bit more at that um, in a little bit here. I'm meteorologist Jake Sorber here with your Campus Weather Service forecast. Currently, we have beautiful blue skies over Beaver Stadium. We also see that beautiful fall color popping out um, on those trees there. And currently, we're sitting at 54 degrees here at Beaver Stadium, or here in State College. Winds are calm, visibility is 10 miles, so it's crystal clear outside. Speaking of that fall foliage as well, we can look at the fall foliage report here, here in State College. We are sitting right at about peak fall foliage um, in southeastern parts of the state, near peak, so not quite at that highest point of color yet, and up around Scranton and northeastern portions of the state past peak. So you can still enjoy some of that color out there, but it will be, those leaves will be falling and that color will be diminishing. So currently here in State College, sitting at 54 degrees, um, zooming out, looking at the rest of the state, a little warmer in the southeastern parts of the state, which isn't surprising, and cooler in the north, northwestern portions of the state due to those higher elevations, um, 47 in Dubois, 48 in Franklin, 50 in Bradford. So looking at the satellite and radar, we see really nothing is happening in the way of clouds or precipitation right now. Um, zooming out, we see it's much of the same for the rest of the East Coast as a high pressure is sitting smugly over the Mid-Atlantic region. Looking at the future weather, however, the future radar, we see that a southeasterly wind is bringing in some, some uh, showers, some precipitation into the center part of the state as that moist air begins to rise over those mountains and um, the precipitation is going to be begin to form and fall out of that. And then as we go forward in time, those winds shift to southerly and we get a clearing of, the, of those showers. Uh, the clouds begin to move in, however, towards the early parts of Wednesday as another weather system begins to move in. Um, so looking at our forecast for today, a high of 62 degrees, sunny skies and calm winds. So really a beautiful day out there today. Going into tonight, some clouds begin to move into the area we're expecting a low of 46 degrees, partly cloudy skies, and calm winds. Moving into tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies, a high of 57 degrees, and calm winds once again. And then looking at our Halloween forecast, brought to you by our dancing mummy friend. Unfortunately, like I said at the beginning of the video, we can expect precipitation um, in the evening on Thursday night. So the timing of this looks to be like it's going to arrive at its heaviest, at its worst, around 7 p.m. The temperature isn't going to be too chilly, so if you have an umbrella out there, if you're really dead set on going trick-or-treating, just make sure you take your umbrella out there and a light jacket, and you should be okay. And then the precipitation is going to begin to die off after 10 p.m. as we head into Friday morning. Looking at our seven-day forecast, starting off really nice today, Kind of going downhill a little bit. So Tuesday, the clouds begin to move in. Wednesday, you can expect the chance of showers with a high of 60 degrees. And then Halloween, unfortunately, looks like the bottom of the hole there with uh, the ugliest weather, the most rain, and then climbing back out of the hole as we enter into the weekend, showers possible on Friday, and then the sun peaks its head back out on Saturday. For the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm Jake Sorber.